Christine Tebbit from Tebbit Textiles and today I'm going to show you how I use my fabric paper. Um, normally I like to make books out of the um, construction of fabric paper because it's a really good medium and a strong base to, to display pieces of work that you've done. Um, and today I'm going to show you how I do this. Here is another version. This one is using eyelets to make the cover and to do a pretty ribboned cover. And as you can see, I've beaded all the edges and I've got ribbon round, chiffon ribbon round. This one has been sewn sort of like old fashioned book style. And, um, and as you can see, again, it's using ribbon as an edge and being beaded. So I'm going to carry on and tell you how to do, how I normally do them. So I use, I cut out the size of the page that I want, but this, this one is six by six and you need a piece of acrylic felt in between the two layers back and front of the page. Um, this is a bit difficult to manoeuvre by getting the sides you know spot on so what I normally do is get the, the first page get the top page and I spray it with an adhesive a temporary adhesive and lay it down on the acrylic felt press it firmly in place let it dry and then if I put that one to one side this one's dry and then what I will do is that I will trim it up nice and close until I've got four perfect sides. And then you're able to marry it up with the other side. So place it directly onto the, the fabric. And then again, I would use the spray to give it a temporary fix. And that way, this enables me to work on it and it not move. Because without having some form of um, stability, keeping it all together, it all tends to shift about and you end up with pieces of black felt coming out where you don't want them. So that is one of my pages and I use chiffon ribbon about an inch thick and what I will do is that I will fold it over evenly and then I will take it to my machine and with the decorative stitch on my machine or just a zigzag um, sew it in place and I will do that now. I've set my machine to zigzag on the maximum five which is the highest my one can go and then I've gone to 2.5 in the length of the stitch and um, I'm anchored in I've got my walk, walk in sort of like normal foot on feed dogs up because I want to get a grip and um, I've got my ribbon sort of like half underneath and half on top and I'm gonna start walking down hold on to it firmly because with the chiffon ribbon it wants to slip a bit 
take it right to the end and then stop lift up and that's the first piece done so tidy up your ends Cut this end off. And then start again. Make sure you can neaten that up later because you can start a little bit above and then just trim it at the end so that you get a nice edge. Put it back underneath. Put your foot down. Yeah, needle down, get the threads at the back, make sure that you, you've got it positioned nicely. And away you go. Trim off, and you can trim off, trim off the the threads at the back. And there you've got two sides done. And then continue on all the way round, and then you'll be able to decorate it the way you would like to. Um, I like to put beads around the edge, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. Right then, continue around with the rest of the ribbon and do all four sides. Then what I normally like to do is add beads to the edges. Just gives it that extra something. Uh, but you don't have to because it's really neat the way it is. Um, but I will show you what I do with the beads in the next video. Right, these are the pages that are done and beaded and ribboned all ready to go. And like I promised, I'm going to show you how I did the beading. And it's quite simple really, nothing uh, too technical. I mean, just normal thread to match my ribbon. And I put a little knot in the bottom. And all I'm going to do is slide up through the stitches, through the ribbon, and give a little light tug. And then I go to my beads pop them on and then what I do is it's kind of like a little back stitch so put my bead on it's, this is a nice quick way of doing it and all I'm doing is running the needle just behind where the new bead will sit to just in front of where the new bead will sit And there you go, pull your thread nice and taut, put your next bead on, go back, just like doing a, a little back stitch up where the next bead's going to go. And it's really a nice, quick, simple, easy way of doing these edges. Because you've got that fold with the ribbon, it just makes life so much easier. Right, with this this type of beading, I've actually done it um, by using a blanket stitch to anchor the beads down. And with that, I use um, hand dyed threads that I've dyed myself, but they kind of complement the colors of the ribbons. So you can make them really stand out. Um, and make a statement um, which is another nice way of decorating um, this one as you can see I put little groups of three going round you can just there's so many different ways that you can use the beaded edges that one I've put one clear one white just to liven it up a little bit 
Right, now we're ready to put the pages together. We've got them all beaded and we've got them in colour sorted the way we want them to look. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a nice little binding to our, using our ribbon as our, as our anchor. So what I do first is turn my book over and then I will get some nice strong thread, single, make a nice long um, piece because you don't want to run out halfway through. So choose a nice decorative colour. You can use hand dyed threads, a nice strong uh, cotton thread, whatever you need. And then I put the, the needle back up through, hide in the end. Just give it a light tug so it's away. And then I'm going to put them together. So how I do this, I've got, got my thread in the corner. And I'm going to make sure that I'm nice and even. And I'm going to do a little back stitch in that. And then I'm going to do a little back stitch in the next one. And they're going to come across, go back into the first one. And then into the second one. Don't pull too tight because you don't want it too tight and then again through the two pages the tops of the ribbon and keep going up the pages To the top now and then what we're going to do is we're going to get our next page and we're going to add that so we will go over our last one and through to the third page and we will go in the same places And we're kind of making a nice little chevron so we're attaching it to the second we're attaching the second and the third pages through to the end of the page and there we have three of them joined together and you continue to do that until you've got them all together and then you'll end up with a nice little binding you can have you can have it as spaced out or as close together as you want um, the choice is yours really you can have great big gaps just have maybe five going across or you can do small ones like I've done with this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you again soon.